here is my solar wax melter, finally complete. And I finally have some sunshine to test it out on today. After I finished it, there we had a couple weeks of rain, and when I did have sunny days, I didn't have the time to work with it. So, the top is just a glass piece uh, from Home Depot with the wood frame. I painted the whole thing flat black to help absorb heat. It's been sitting in the sun for maybe 20 minutes and the temperature inside got up to about 150 degrees which is perfect for melting wax. Um, what I've set up here is kind of a two-stage filtering process. First I have this cheap aluminum pan from the grocery store that I cut a hole in down here to allow the wax to flow out and I made a little screen bucket catcher to get the large pieces that are not wax filtered out and I just used some binder clips to hold that in place. And this is very hot right now. Then I put it on a little stage here with a funnel, stainless steel funnel to allow the wax to flow down into a oil filter. And this is a standard oil filter that you get for oil um, for oil fryers. And when they come, you get a box of about 50 of them for you know $10 or so. They come flat like that. I cut it to the size I needed, and then you just turn it inside out so it stays open. And the little cone holder down here is a standard oil filter support that I've shortened. It was a little bit taller and bigger. I didn't need it quite that big. So I trimmed it down and it fits into this little stand right there. You can see it's held in place just by pressure and friction. And then the whole thing will drip into a loaf pan. I'm going to put a, about a half inch of water in the loaf pan just to help the wax release. This is a non-stick loaf pan, uh, but I, I want it, the wax to be able to easily be removed. So that's the plan. I'm hoping that these oil filters work well for filtering the wax since it's you know, made for oil and wax when it's melted is essentially an oil. Uh, so this will be the first try. See how things work. It's already really warm. So I just need to add the wax and give it some time. To prepare the crushed up wax for melting, I give it a good rinse in some water. Make sure all the chunks are broken up. There's nothing stuck together. After that feels like it's rinsed off, then I transfer it to an empty bucket for uh, another rinse. Getting some bees in here. can't get all of the wax out of the water. Some of it sinks, some of it floats. I just try to get most of it. And then I just dump the water. And you probably don't want to dump it down your sink. That's why I'm doing this outdoors. Don't want to be putting any wax in your plumbing. Rinse it a few times like this, just to make sure that all the honey is out. If you're using this wax for candles, you really don't want to have any honey in it. It causes sputtering, I've heard. I don't know what I'm going to be using this wax for just yet. Since this is nice, uh, clean wax, I might be using it for lip balms or who knows what. Um, probably 
just using it as wax starter strips in the hive. So it doesn't really matter. In cases like that, it doesn't matter if there's still some honey in it. It won't hurt anything. Try to get as much wax out of the water as I can, but I don't, I don't you know, kill myself trying to be completely thorough. And then just dump this water, and I'll add more water to this bucket, do another rinsing, and that would be the third rinsing. And it'll probably be good after that. If you're not going to melt the wax right away, I recommend spreading it out on a paper towel and letting it dry. This was some wax that I did last year, same method. And it didn't have much to melt, so I didn't want to bother melting it right away. So I rinsed it, let it dry, and put it in a, in a bag. If you don't let it dry first, it will go moldy or rancid. Um, so you got to get all the water off of it before storing it away. The wax is in place. Now just waiting for the temperature to come back up and the wax will start melting. Well, this seems to be working. I've uh, had to move it once as I chase the sun, avoiding the shadows. Another shadow coming in, I've got to move it again, but it's mostly melted down. There's still a little bit of wax left up in the top here. I removed the filter cone about halfway through because it was just kind of caking into the bottom of the cone. So I'm not sure if that's going to work. I'll, I'll give it another try again on another day when maybe it's hotter where I can find a better place to put it in the sun. But as the wax was dripping down, it was cooling and then clumping up and hardening inside the cone and not flowing through. I'm not giving up on the cone just yet though. A couple more tries, we'll see how it goes. But this has to now finish off the melting up in here. I have to let the stuff in the bottom cool and then I can take it out. All right, the melting is done, and all that's left is this mess up in here, and down in there is the cooled wax.
I'm going to take a look at this first. Everything is kind of stuck in there. I think I had a little bit of dripping going on somewhere else. Got to see where that happened. I got a pool of wax down there that looks like it dripped from up here. Uh, this, let's take a look at this first. Pour out the water. Got a good chunk of wax here. Take that in the house and weigh it. See how much it weighs in at. Idea. It looks like it looks like the wax just seeped along this edge here because it maybe not I didn't have it level side to side and then just kind of dribbled down around there. Ah, no big deal. Not a big loss. And then this probably isn't reusable, which is a shame. Unless I can somehow pull off all this gunk. Um, another thing I want to try next time. A uh, different screen and lay down some paper towels on the screen first and then lay the wax chunks in there. Um, then the paper towels um, would filter out and then I wouldn't need the cone filter and paper towels would pull off and leaving me a clean screen instead of this mess. So that's another option I'll, I'm, I'm going to try. See how that works. That's it. First time using this one. And that's the result.